In this video, I'll show you how to draw this isometric figure. Last video, I forgot to uh, tell you to rename the one that you just drew. So rename it to isometric three. And then click the plus sign and create a new part studio. Why don't we go ahead and rename this one to isometric four. So our strategy for the fourth figure is to draw this shape. So it's just an L. So we are not putting this incline into consideration at this time. We're just going to draw a regular L shaped figure. So click sketch, select the front plane, right click, view normal to sketch plane, and then hide the top, the front, and the right planes. Select the line tool, start at the origin, and then draw this. As you can see, this horizontal line and this vertical line are already colored black, which means they are already constrained as horizontal and vertical lines. Next, we need to dimension. As you can see here, the width is 3 and the height is 3. Click drag, type 3, press enter. Same thing here. Click drag, type 3, press enter. Next, the height of this line here is 1.5. So click and then drag and then type 1.5. The only thing that we haven't dimensioned yet is the line up here or down here. And you'll see in this figure that this line is 1. So click and then drag, type 1, and you'll notice all of the lines now are in black. Click check. Right click, click isometric, zoom out, and then click extrude. We are extruding to 3 inches. So click on the sketch that you made on the depth part, type 3, and then click check. Zoom out and then pan just to center your work. Next, we are going to draw this triangle that you see here. So click sketch, click on this face, right click, view normal to sketch plane, click on the line tool, and from this corner, click and then drag up until it touches that line and then create that triangle. Select the dimension tool and notice here that if the total depth is 3 and the distance of this line here is 1.5, that means this line here is also 1.5. So click and then drag and then type 1.5 and that should be enough to turn all the lines to black, which means it is properly dimensioned already. So click check. And then right click, click isometric, and we are going to extrude this sketch. So click this sketch, and instead of adding, we are removing. And we are removing, we're going uh, a width of one inch. Why one inch? Because this is two inches, and then this here is one inch. So the remaining part is one inch as well. So I already have one inch here. So I'm just going to click check and I'm done with this figure. 